and that is a really good card to see when you're a paladin. That's a pretty good card to see when you're a paladin. That's a really good card to see when you're a paladin. That's a pretty good card to see when you're a paladin. This is okay. This is always good. This is pretty bad, but it's better than the others. This is sometimes good and sometimes bad, depending on whether or not you can protect it. Currently it looks like I can't, but it's still the best choice. Uh, these cards are bad. But that one's the best. This card is really good. These cards are mediocre, but this card is okay. This card is really good. Another cult master is a bit overkill, but but it's still all right. Uh, I'm hesitant, but all right. Enter protection, beats out those chumps. Uh, ooh, I'm gonna go organ infiltrator over mad bomber because I'm a paladin and I don't want to bomb my own guys. I also think organ infiltrator goes over bomber anyways, sort of. Oh, that's tough. Let's see. I think the best one is Redemption here. So far, no two drops. That's a bit rough. I might want the uh, Wolf Rider. Currently, I have no synergy with like an Acolyte. Uh, abusive Sergeant. Nah, Jungle Panther. I don't think I've seen a single two even get offered yet. No, I have, but they've been real bad. This is going to be real weird if I get no twos. I'm still going to choose the Harvest Golem over the Blue Gill Warrior. Uh, equality, that's a 2, but it's not really a 2. Mad Bomber versus Fairy Dragon. Need that Bomber, yo. Need that early game. Let's see... Spells, I have... A few of them. That's also the best card anyways. Murloc Tidehunter, save me. Novice Engineer. You're reasonable. Oh, Pyromancer. Cool, here's all those twos to save me at the end. Double Blessing. I regret not having an Acolyte of Pain. And my choice of Holy Wrath or Crazed Alchemist or Master Swordsmith. I think I lack late game, and with this many ones, the Holy Wrath is substantially worse. I'll go with the uh, Crazed Alchemist since it looks like Master Swordsmith is unable to be protected. Alright, so pros and cons to this deck. Pros, I got several of the strong Paladin cards, the True Silver, the Double Blessing, the Consecration, the Hammer. I also got a Yeti and two Cult Masters, which I really like in the uh, Paladin. I got a Sword of Justice, that's pretty strong. Uh, it looked like I had a severe weaknesses in my early game, but that got shored up, thankfully. The downside is the late game is quite bad. Uh, the biggest thing I have is Booty Bay Bodyguard. So, a strong mid game, slightly below par early game, really bad late game. But the Cult Master will probably be instrumental in giving me a lot of refunds. So I'm going to guess this will go 8 wins. I will fight with honor. Justice demands retribution. That hand is pretty bad. Reporting for duty. Almost worth equalizing that. But probably not. The battle. I'll take the four damage, I'll lose the guy. I'll let the Panther take care of this. Choice of uh, cult mastering and drawing card, but then it loses to the harvest, or I can go dragon lean mechanic. This is probably better. More guys get refunds on. Hmm. 
Unfortunately, Harvest Golem uh, trades favorably against Strangling Mechanic, but not much I can do about that. Could play the Crazed Alchemist next turn, and turn this into a 1 2. Then uh, send this guy in. Only take one. Maybe. We'll see. For the king! Combo Wombo the Stormwind Knight here. You love my new recipe. A little silly, but it does the job. Not on my watch. So you also got a really good sort of justice card. That card is really good. There's fair. Now, the bad news is when this dies, it'll come back as a 3 2. Which is actually scarier than what's, scarier than what's out right now. If I play the Sunwalker, it looks I like it'll wonder. trade for both of these. Which isn't exactly ideal. Sunwalker plus Redemption is really good. That's not going to happen while this board is happening, though. Quality is possible. That doesn't seem great. Let me think. I think best might be Sword of Justice. Send this guy into this, spawn a 3 2. No, no, Sword of Justice into this. Spawn a 3 2, send this guy in. No, unfortunately, then you can use a Sword of Justice and. No, that's fine. For justice! I must move quickly! Still a charge. It's all to try to set up the Sunwalker Redemption, which is significantly better. Oh, that really sucks. Let me think. The good news is he doesn't have a one damage weapon to throw. Oh, the bad news is he's got a one. one. The good news is it seems to be a. Uh, Seems like it'll be pretty tough to get past this stuff. Fruit is my shield. Combo Wombo. Really? What? That was a mistake. Do you call that a weapon? Oh. Well played. Interestingly, not a mistake if he intends to use the one one. Reporting for duty. Alright, so bad news is that's most likely get down. The other bad news is if I don't use this to attack, mm. the one one will get me. So I might as well use this to break get down and probably play Aldor and Fen. Justice shall prevail. Definitely getting to the late game where uh, playing Guy every turn is really useful. Haven't had the chance to though. Put this apple on your head. It's back. Oh. I thought it is quite terrifying, but maybe I should hammer of Rathus. I probably should still do that. But I do have a consecrate. If I draw into it, that would be really good if I hit this. Plus, I can always send this into that. But the other alternative is just to play equality now. And I can take out both, but that's not that ideal. I have to play the uh, odds on this one. Equality hammer gets rid of most of the threats, but probably ultimately loses me the game. So, I think this has the greatest odds. This is actually tough. It really depends on why I draw. Let me think. I can't do it. 
Oh my gosh. Well, that's good news. Last warning. Reporting for duty. Reporting for duty. Still, having both of these around is useful. Alright. Great equalizer. Reporting for duty. Two, three, four. Uh, yeah, it's time to get Do refunds I on these jumps. Uh, Alright, so that's five, which means that's enough. The battle. Interesting. Not that useful though. To battle. Ah, get behind me. If he had consecrate, would he have played it? Is a question to ask. I wonder. Payoff is too high if he doesn't have it. Crazy. Uh, so he's got another seven damage on him later. Nice. Yeah, demolisher. You just demolished him. That's what I'm talking about. Carry me, Colt Master. The battle. All right, so he's got seven damage in his hand. I hear you got a problem. Now it's in play. That was a mistake. Reporting for duty. Four, five, nine, ten. It's probably worth drawing a card. Three, six, ten, I believe. The battle. Will be the plan. Set him down nine. Set him down nine at mo at least this turn. Uh, nine puts him at seventeen. Uh, I've got another nine, which is eight, and that's enough. So all I need to do is play Wolf Harvest Shattered. Mm. Probably better do Wolf Harvest Blessing of Kings on something this turn. Ideally on something that would normally not kill that, but that would. Quickly. So I'm seeing it as this. We this. must cleanse the sun well. And King's the demo. <laughs> and hope he doesn't have Blessed Champion as his like out. That would be absurd. Demolisher hitting the Jungle Panther certainly helped a lot. Well played. Well played. The victory is yours. Tough game. For Doomhammer. 
I will fight with honor. That's a really good start. Worgen into Shattered Sun. Almost tempted to keep Blessing of Kings. But it's conceivable I could have no minions at the time of casting this. I would rather get a minion or something more sturdy. Like something more individually good. Nice. I'll definitely go uh, Sword of Justice next turn. Go off the tier 1. Some bonus. He might be Ogre if he doesn't have at least. Someone called for this. Hmm. Relic Tidehunter, I think, is the best call here. We need to buff something this turn. First kill. Justice. Light's Justice ending up being a very good card. Using it as Light's Justice, troll. That was a very fast way to use up the Sword of Justice. I'd rather kill this than have a plus one, plus one on my shattered. We must cleanse the sun I basically used sort of justice as light's justice, but it was still really good. Next turn, hoping for some uh, cult master refunds. Question is, do I want to go for two refunds or uh, one refund or no refunds and wait for next turn? Since he couldn't deal one damage, he doesn't have an answer to this, so I should go for double refund. Hmm. One of these guys can be think. redeemed. That's also nice. Since he can't do uh, area of effect, since that was clearly a better play. Join or die, or both. Push forward. We must cleanse the Sunwell. Job done. <laughs> hmm. No, my refund system. No, I'll just play Fen Creeper. Not worry about your silly owl. I wonder. Push forward. <laughs> Considering Alder peacekeepering it and then sending Cult Master at it. But nah, taunt, yeah. That's almost lethal. But not actually even close. Not a severe overkill, but it saves the cult master. likely be forced into this, although Follow the rule. this is okay. Reporting for duty. Well played. Well played. You win. With honor. Hmm. 
nothing, nothing but trusty old murlocs here. Probably felt like a really good play on his side. But this Murloc, it's too powerful. Play this to defend against the raging Morgan. And he has Fireball or Polly. I'll be in a world of pain. No, nah, not that bad. Eh, nah, pretty bad. Less bad if it's Polly. Eh, more bad if it's Fireball. Since then you can uh, Fire Blast my 2 1. I'll be kept with that. Which will deal uh, eight damage. This is really quite tear. I don't think I can afford to use the consecration on it. What I needed to do was have something that deals uh, that much damage. Didn't get it though. I'll just take the eight. The alternative is to play the consecration, but that would be too tough to use in that fashion mm. with him having that many cards. No, I probably should just play Consecration. He damages a lot. Eh. Reporting for duty. Give me a quest. I hope you like my invention. Oh, I got this combo. And I really don't want to use it now, but it is a questing adventure. I think I can wait one more turn. Reporting for duty. Because the Wild Pyromancer plus uh, Equality is a total board wipe. Tazdingo! It's not quite good enough yet. Handle it! Slightly better now. Say I played Equality, and then I did Wild Pyromancer, no and to protect the Pyromancer. That would also wipe everything. Two, four, five, and then I could play Demolisher with that. Move quickly. It's not bad. to uh, pull a flame strike at least. Oh, it's got five cards against my three. Good card to draw. Ah, uh, get behind me. The gates are open. Oh, well, that's 
is bad. That is actually definitely game. It doesn't matter if Flame Strike would have done the same thing. May my ancestors watch over me. Well played. Although I think this one's even worse. Scary. The victory is I will fight with honor. Justice demands retribution. The quality consecration combo. Better in the late game. Uh, better to have that sort of justice on turn two and then the harvest golem on turn three. Um, which would mean consecration would be a good way to catch back up, but did replace two cards. Harvest golem is really good at taking down small guys, anyways. In his hands. Reasonable. It's gonna be a turn two sword for show. Well I imagine. Reporting for duty. I'll use one charge to get rid of a one one. I think that's reasonable. Especially since it's the only minion on this guy. Uh, prevents him from playing a buff minion to the full extent of its abilities. Over on ESG and TV, they're doing a. That was a mistake. No, oh, thanks for saving me a charge. That's very generous of you. They're doing a uh, news thing. Wow, mighty Murloc! He did half of the golem. Pay attention, class. Violet Yeti. Someone called for it. Something that might be expected if he follows up with a true silver. I'll oh, get justice. rid of the true silver uh, by blocking it with defending it. Oh, Most of the time, this is get down. Probably want to play mm. a peacekeeper regardless. And with that, I would summon the Worgen Infiltrator, which I should play first in case it's Repentance. It's pretty unlikely for it to be, but always gotta go through that uh, song and dance. Instruction this getting down would probably be the best for me. No, this would. That's a little bit of a shock. I guess it's Redemption, which means it'll come back as a 3-1. That's fine. Instruction begins. Yeah. I must move quickly. Reporting for duty. Your magic shall not sink. Yeah. Reporting for duty. Alright, Hammer of Wrath seems worthwhile. That's a really good target. Three health, lots of attack. Want to push guys out of Consecrate range whenever possible. So I guess I'll use the 1-1 one -one to trade. The battle. Good old sword. The battle defeats all. For justice. Oh. Didn't want to get this down to four range, which is sword range. But that's fine. First. Anti consecrate is not playing the panther. Not playing the tide hunter. Not playing the cleric. I'll just get a guy. Reporting for duty. 
<laughs> it's time for a little blood. Well met. The Frost Wolves stand ready. Well played. Well played. The victory is. GG. I must protect the wild. I will fight with honor. Alright, moving first. The hero ability into Shadow Sun Cleric would be the dream, but. Can't count on the druid to let that happen. Hero ability peacekeeper. That's fine. Hmm. Better. So there's always a 1-1 one -one for him to deal with. He can't deal with all of these 1-1s. One -ones. Swipe is perfectly fine here. A 1-1 one -one Murloc, a 1-1 one -one token, and a worgen. I'm happy he swiped. Wasn't greedy enough. <laughs> it's time for a little blood. If I roll need. The lack of greed. It makes me a little sad. <laughs> Thinking of all the list of value. Hmm. That's actually hilarious. Alright, let's do it that way. Yeah. Elder Peacekeeper to save one health is not worth it. So that means I'll probably be using a guy. And that's fine. <laughs> Trying to save the novice engineer on a turn where I can uh, use both of these at the same time since the novice engineer is like a double use of the reinforce. Being able to uh, make something of the druid, which is generally really big, follow the rules, is probably better. It's not the biggest it should be, but uh, good enough. Reporting for duty. Probably should have summoned a guy first. Or I mean, like drawn a card magic. first. Wouldn't have mattered, fortunately. Follow the rule. This would now be a pretty good swipe for him. To Northrend! Eleven, three, four, five, six, eight. I was almost considering not doing it. Oh, if you're sure. The battle. The battle. I have to consider the nah. I get behind me. I was gonna say, he's got swipe. This sets it up really nicely. But he didn't swipe last turn, which means he doesn't have it, unless it's that card. I was more worried about a Iron Bark Protector. I needed something to punch through it. And I'll do it. Three, four, five, six. I can see.
crown. You asked for it. I will fight with honor. Very nice. I got a one and then a two sword of justice. Hopefully get a three. Nice. That's one of the best threes. Very strong hand. Still have a very strong start with a uh, arcane missiles opening there. Or an arcane explosion opening, but that never happens. Oh my gosh. Arcane missiles would be sick. Fortunately, does not have it. That would have been rather disgusting. First kill for justice. I might consider Wolf Rider, since it will kill the Mana Worm without dying. No, I will not consider it. Many secrets. Wow, such a value. Hmm. Alright, so the wolf rider would be summoned as a 3 1, I believe, if that's mirror entity. It could alternatively do Murloc Tidehunter, which is also very strong against uh, the secret I'm afraid of. So I'll do this one. Anticipating it may be that which would use the entire sort of justice this turn, which is also good. It also gets around the one damage of fire blast. It's not mirror entity. I should probably trade and kill this then. Reporting for duty. Good news is damage golem looks like it'll get value. Nope, no value. The good news is these uh one health guys are gonna get value. Trade trade. Come on, cult master, please. Wow. These one health guys are all getting massive value. If only I had cult master. Would have been three cards. Alright, Pwn's got four cards against my future six. Looking alright here. Are you ready for this? It's pretty scary. Good thing I have a blessing. Reporting for duty. Smith. The battle. Truth is my shield. Are you ready for this? Definite problem that a flame strike now gets it all, but I still need to play a threat. Otherwise, flame strike won't be used. Flame strike's essentially getting one yeti here, so not too big a deal. If he were to decide to cast it, we'll see if he has a play that's better than flame strike here. Doesn't preclude him from having it. Good news is I should be able to counter these secrets really the easily. Battle. That's enough for flame strike. Reporting for duty. You might not have it.
You might have it. Nah, that one is hard to drew. This might be counterspell. This card didn't trigger on attack, a minion played, or a spell. So it's either Spellbender or Ice Block. Both of which are probably somewhat bad against my deck. What to do? You are do. not prepared. This might get redirected. 4, 8, 10. I would be willing to have the Violet Teacher get equality. The upside class. is too high. I am ready to learn. It's ice block. Interesting. The battle. The battle. The battle. Reporting for duty. Must cleanse the sun well. Five five is pretty good. <laughs> to deal I with the coda. Reporting for duty. One six seven ten eleven. Couldn't kill him in uh, one shot next turn, anyways. Please sound. Really? The battle! The battle! I shall do as you say. The battle! I'm pretty certain that's Ice Block. I am master of magics! Reporting for duty. We have many secrets. Wow. It's time for some refunds. One, two, three. It's unfortunately not lethal because uh, I'm pretty much a hundred percent sure that's ice one. The battle. The battle. But of course I'm going to trigger it. We must cleanse the sun well. Reporting for duty. I'll put it on your hand. GG. You win this. Well played. You asked for it. I will fight with honor. Well, good news is I have the redemption harvest a golem combo. I'll keep that. That is a little speculative. Should be alright. Reporting for duty.
The dream is to have him not kill this and then I redemption, but that seems unlikely. Perhaps I shouldn't have kept redemption in my hand. For the crusade! Oh, looking good. Nice. Hmm. Interesting. Ah, perfect. Combo Wombo. For justice. Wow, super use of Sword of Justice and Redemption here. This is actually rather incredible. I think I use like I don't that's a lot. That's really good. Okay, as long as I uh, stay above 20 life, I should be okay. Oh, about to see crazed alchemist value too. You value? Crazed alchemist, deal two damage. Can use the sword again. Valley overflowing. Reporting for duty. That was a really strong last two turns. Uh, opponent's got six cards. I have six as well. Though I do have a um, pretty good board presence. Don't mess with Tusk. He's actually handled this fairly well. I think I actually played the Mad Bomber before I uh, bomb my own guys. I still like you, Mad Bomber. You're still okay. What to do? I still believe in you, Bomber. I hope you like my invention. The turn where flame strike can come out, so I should probably trade down. The battle. Oh, that one's okay. Eh, maybe I should have hit it. It's reasonable either way. Yeah, yeah, you gotta be kidding me! The dream, peacekeeper, and mercenary. Follow the rules. For duty. Flame strike here, still not bad for him. He'll send both of these guys in, wipe the board. <laughs> if that's the case. It's like, nope. Ooh, yeah, you got it. I'll use the uh, hand of protect to finish off that guy. He's playing in a way that seems to indicate doesn't have flame strike, but I'm not 100% sure. Either way, I think I needed the extra pressure. Eh, maybe not. Maybe that was a little too much. I guess it's more of a read he doesn't have flame strike, but I'm not that certain. Didn't have it. Four, five, eight, eleven, fifteen, seventeen. GG. Four, five, eight, eleven, fifteen, seventeen. Ha! Ah, take that. No double pirate day!
Justice demands retribution. That is a two, three, and a four, but I have no way to defend the demolisher. Whether or not I keep this hand depends on how many cards he keeps, I think. Uh, two. That <laughs> didn't really help much. It's one of my weaker fours. But it is a perfect curve. Oh boy. Hi Nymph, let's show some respect to our uh, gracious winner. Let the pain speak to me. Triple draw with the Acolyte. That's pretty painful. Looks like it'll have to happen. I don't want to use a true silver charge on it. Certainly not Pay consecrate. Class, if you're sure. Pretty brutal. Okay, that's a fun result for me. I think I would have been uh, tempted to hit this. Not worry about this. But I can respect that play. Choice one, true silver and hit it. Choice two, hammer of wrath it. Choice three, just play the dragonling mechanic. Okay, with just playing dragonling mechanic here, the two one is in a good spot and it sets up for consecration next turn. That's a reasonable amount of stuff to consecration. Not on my watch. Still is. Though maybe now I want to be even greedier. I'd be using True Silver Champion to deal four damage to something it's divine shield. That's sort of weak. Fen Creeper. Looks like it clears off everything. Fen Creeper shares the same thing as Consecration right now. The turn of play is the Hammer of Wrath, the Divine Shield. I must move quickly. I'm gonna choose the same one. It's the most obvious play, but if you want it more, you might want to consider not doing that there. For duty. Not on my watch. That's good. My shield for Argus. The battle. Play the true silver since it allows me to uh, tempo up next turn. Reporting for duty. I hate playing such a perfect target from the Guardian down. It allows it to be damaged enough to Fen Creeper down, theoretically. all my hopes and dreams in you, Fen Creeper. If it's 10, it would theoretically take out all three minions. That's very idealistic, but I have no other choice. It's eh, rid of two. That's fine. Four 
unfortunately looks like a 5-4. Get behind me. Oh, I'm gonna go ahead and toss on this preemptively. It's a bit desperate to uh, play these divine shields on the turn that I'm not attacking, and to play Cult Master on a turn where I'm not getting a card, but it's one of those desperate times. Summoning portal open. <laughs> desperate times, desperate measures. That stings a little. That also sort of stings. Well, that's... It's a card. Alright. Desperation. Reporting for duty. Science. That's pretty good for me. Oh, other than the fact that I die. Well that played. that's not so good. Well played. I will fight with honor. Justice demands retribution. Tempting to keep the true silver, but I have a lot of fours that are good. Better to go for the early game. It's a pretty good hand. I like the Murloc Tidehunter a lot against uh, Paladin. Mind if I roll need? All right, against the loot hoarder, we'll give him just a recruit. Reporting for duty. So he basically used the coin to play something to draw a card, and I saved a card by playing this, which means the coin has been eliminated for free, quote unquote. The battle. Use the novice to gain advantage against this guy. Alright, Strangling Mechanic is really good against a dog. The most boring normal play is to play a booty big bodyguard, which will hopefully deal with the Yeti. Uh, another option is to use this guy to kill this and then kill the Yeti with the true silver. That's probably the saner option. There's some other options as well, but this one looks really good. I almost considered using science. I've got a huge guy. I could use my weapon to deal with this, but I think I'm gonna take an even greedier approach. The weapon is a precious 4 damage, which I don't want to use against something with only 2 health. Oh, that's a good card to play on this board. Consecration would have been better, but... Yeah, 3-1 got left. That's a great result for me. He uh, ran below average there. That's pretty fun. 
because science is fun. You love my new recipe. Prevents him from having anything that can uh, buff. Kill my guy. Maybe it means I hammer of wrath. This that's not very good though. I wonder. But it does save my guy for another turn. It's worthwhile. This booty bay bodyguard is born to be a king. Well played. Reporting for 5, 7, 8, 12. Your Bashi Berserker, pretty scary, but probably worth using Blessing a King to take out this guy. Use this to kill off that. Wait, I think I just won. 5, 7, 8. Wait, what? That's nowhere close. Oh, right, Holy Light. Wow, it just stopped him from losing. No, it actually, I didn't have lethal anyways. <laughs> I'll take him out. The battle oh. is my shield. That's strong. Reporting for duty. They are bent to my command. I could put it on the uh, harvest golem. That'd make that a six-two. Better to put it on the divine shield guy who takes no damage. Justice yeah, debatable. Reporting for duty. Reporting for duty. What does the future hold? My shield for Argus! Eight, nine, ten. Can make myself more vulnerable to area of effect. Your magic shall not see. That was a mistake. That was a mistake. The victory. <laughs> victory or death. I will fight with honor. Too bad. Choice to recruit to novice or to harvest home. Hmm. This is the greediest play possible. Reporting for duty. <sighs> I am not a morning person. Imp 
Master and half of that for my Blessing of Kings plus this hero ability. It's a fine deal. Yeah, yeah, you've gotta be kidding me! We heal our recruit smasher overload lord. I'm gonna play the novice here since otherwise it just smashes a recruit. Although I'm gonna, yeah, I'll try not to summon guys until this uh, guy is dead. end up doing one more damage to my Yeti before dying. Oh, the Golem. So he's setting all of these at two health. Okay. Four, six. Cult Master for refunds is the slow way to do it. Look at the slow way. Space out my uh, hand since I will uh, run through it real fast soon. Charge forward! On commander did work. Alright. Now use the blessing, kill off the commander. That's essential. And then I guess I'll waste some mana. I could decide not to take uh, two damage, which saves it against some cards, but opens it to more vulnerability against others. Reasonable enough. I could hand a protect now, but that would die horribly to both execute and uh silence you got to be kidding me could equality consecrate this looks like a pretty good spot to do so could also kill Tazdingo for free but then i have no answer to ventrico mm. the battle the battle yeah, Yeah, Magma Rager. Magma Rager is a really good card against Warrior, as it turns out. Well, they have some random things that deal one damage, but well whatever. Played. Oh. Well played. Ah. You asked for it. I will fight with honor. Well, the dream is he does not kill this recruit, which I think is likely. Oh, wow. The mirror image dog start. Gross. That's one rough start. Coin apprentice mirror image dog. That's brutal.
Oh, the pain. We must cleanse the sunwell. All right, dog and crew. Finally, you will go down. Hopefully. Time runs out on me. Your magic shall not save me. One image down. Hmm. Truth is my shield. It's okay. I stabilized. 18 health, that's a lot. Nothing bad could possibly come from this. Do you call that a Not ideal, but good enough. Alright, mirror image, you're going down. Hmm, I could clear the board, but... Last warning! Interesting. Last warning. Reporting for duty. Someday I'll be just like you. I won't deny that this play is greedy. Although it could also be argued that blessing of kings on the guy Someone is too reckless. Unfortunately, though, now I'm dying to fireball. I wonder which one comes back. Just me and Mr. Bitey. Can't say I was expecting that one. Well played. Oh, JJ. Oh, not yet. so fast. Can you get over this monster, mage? Wow, oh, that's down. Two eight. Good enough. Bam, bam. As he uh, showcased, he got me by a wide margin that game. 